New businesses are popping up all over the Idaho Falls area. In fact, two are having grand openings in just the next couple of days. Local News 8's Natalie Shaver joining us from the Idaho Falls newsroom. Uh, still some more to come, I hear. Yeah, Carol, and while it's exciting to have new restaurants, these businesses provide a lot more than just a great place to eat. The donut of the day is a strawberry chocolate. We have donuts, donut sundaes, which is really popular. Um, my favorite is gelati. It's Italian ice with the frozen custard. While those all sound delicious, new businesses like Rita's and Panera do more than just provide something good to eat. They actually help our local communities. That's another reason why we wanted to bring Rita's to the area is to, you know, offer opportunities for youth and young adults to have, you know, jobs. It's a great opportunity for somebody if they want to come in at, a, at an hourly associate level and they come in they want to work hard. You know, there's opportunities for, for management and we've also got some bakery positions where people can move up and catering positions as well. So we see the new restaurants and the doors opening, but what we don't always see is how many jobs that's creating in terms of construction, uh, and those those other services to create those businesses and get them going. New businesses show the area is growing all around. Certainly in commercial, um, residential this year has been um, really an increase in new lots created, new plots, and so that's something we we really haven't seen um, since before the recession. And so that's really good to finally see that our inventory of lots has uh, has gotten to the point where we're needing to plot more. And it's going to continue to grow. We have applications coming in regularly. Our uh, planning and zoning commissions, are, are, their agendas are full. City council agendas are full. Now, quite a few more restaurants are scheduled to open between now and July. Tap and Fill, a beer growler to go business, is opening this month in Snake River Landing. Rizzo's Pizza is set to open in Ammon in June. And Neater's Bakery is also planning to open in July in Ammon. And that's just to name a few. In the newsroom, I'm Natalie Shaver. Oh, I like it. I like <laughs> a lot of those places I'm familiar with from other areas. Are you? Yeah. Well, Panera, I've never heard of. Rizzo's, oh, so I've never good. heard of. Uh, um, Neater's, I've never heard of. I can't wait. Yeah. yeah. I don't know any of these, so good. Yeah, well, Rita's is having a grand opening tomorrow. Panera's grand opening is on Tuesday. Yeah, there you go. So now that's something to do for the weekend. That's right. All right, the Idaho State football or softball team uh, begins the final weekend of the regular season today. Next on Sportsline, Jeff Landers updates us on the action. At